Hello and welcome to another episode of Dante Engineer. In this series of videos, I'm going to be making um, a little demonstration on a variety of different fire alarm panels and manual call points where I name the panel, the call point and the test key that we use. I'm down at FireSense. They've been kind enough to let me use their facilities to show it on their little training rig. Let's go in and say hello and see what we've got in store today. Now this panel is the Kentec Synchro AS addressable panel and the devices we've got are Hachiki. So the call point we've got here, you see underneath, it's got two prongs. So you've got this key here and they actually, it goes in like that. So you hold it like that and you literally push up inside. So one thing to remember about this panel is that uh, some of them don't have the key. If you have it's nice and easy, you just have to turn it. But some of them you have to put the user code in. If you don't put the user code in, you can't do anything with the panel. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we do our test again. It's a plastic break glass there, so you don't have to worry about replacing glass or anything like that. It's all plastic. So you put the prong in like that. You shove it up. And then with your thumb, you pull down, you take the key out, the light comes on, put it back together. Let's press enter. Put your passcode in. Then we're going to press silence. Then we're going to press reset. And that will go back to normal. So that's that panel. We could do it um, by using the key. So if you set your call point off, in fact, let's do that. So if you want to use it by the key on the panel, you set off your call point. Put it back together. Go to the panel. Enable. Silence and reset. One thing I will say about these panels is that I do recommend you get the one that are key activated. It does make it quicker because obviously as you saw um, to enter the code you have to press one of the buttons first, put the code in, press enter and then silence. So it's just a little bit quicker but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, it works either way. So that's our testing done. Hopefully it gives you a good little insight in how you test each individual call point and what you press at the panel for your weekly testing. It's nice and straightforward. Ultimately, always read the manufacturer's instructions and get used to your system. You know, if I was um, gonna look at a new panel that I've never worked on before, I'd go through the instructions and familiarize myself. So it's all pretty straightforward. I hope this has been very helpful for you. Um, if anybody wants me to work on and make any videos with different systems let me know in the comments below i'm always happy to hear what you've got to say and we'll always have a chat um, it's always great please like this video please share it and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel goodbye <laughs>
key set and we've got an engineer resistor and diode set. So if we look at the engineer key set, as you can see here, you've got all the different type of test keys, panel keys, you name it. Very, very handy little kit. I'll put a link below in the descriptions where you can purchase these from. And then in this one, you've got the little resistor and diode set. And it's got the, you know, it tell you what ones they are, 2K, 2, 1K, 470 ohm. I've got to admit, very handy little kits, um, neat little boxes, it's worth buying them. Look at all these little goodies. Got a little Bluetooth speaker, USB sticks, pens, little power pack, it's pretty cool. And some FireSense battery labels to put your when they've been tested. And of course, this little bad boy.